For each question, determine which of the following function or functions below satisfy the condition indicated. Remember that, first of all, you should be able to notice that there's an extra S. So that means that some of them might have one or more than one answer. And the options that they give you is what they have zero, one, or two real roots. Remember, your roots, your real roots is how many times does it cross the x-axis? Your real roots are your x-intercepts. So I just need to be able to graph each one. Or actually, just make a quick sketch. On the first one, I'm going to find my vertex, which is negative 2 and negative 5. Remember, your vertex is your h and your k. Your h is going to be the opposite. This is a positive 2. That will be negative 2. Just because it's inside the parentheses and it's right next to the x. It's the opposite. That's a negative 5, stays as a negative 5. And I'm going to go and plot all of them in the graph that I provided for you. So negative 2 and 2, 4, 5. And I need to decide, is it facing up or down? Remember, we are dealing with a problem. Your A value will tell us if it's facing up or down. In this case, this is a negative 2. So this problem is facing down. And I'm just going to label it f of x. Now let's continue with g of x. g of x, the vertex, h is the opposite, so it'll be positive 2, and there's no k, so it'll be 0. 2 to the right, and we must stay there. And my parabola is facing up or down. In this case, my parabola is facing up, because the a is positive. So how many times does it cross the x-axis? Once. Barely touches it. And this is g of x. h of x. Your vertex is negative 2 and positive 4. I'm going to go to the left 2 and 2, 4. And my parabola is facing down. So therefore, my parabola is all the way down. Remember, we're just doing a quick sketch. How many turns does it cross the x-axis? How many real roots does it have? 2. So this is h of x. And the last one, your vertex is 3 and 0. Remember, your h is opposite, and there's no k. And this is facing down. So 1, 2, 3, and 0. And it's facing down. And that'll be k. And how many times does it cross the x-axis? 1. So let's see. f of x crosses at 0 times h of x crosses it twice. It has two real roots. Uh, g and k of x cross once only. So we can now answer the question. Which of them has zero real roots? That means that it has no x-intercepts. That's only f of x. So letter A. Problem number 8. Exactly one real root. One real root will be either g of x or k of x, g of x or k of x, and which ones have exactly two real roots, so there'll be h of x.